six days into December and it's not beginning to look like Christmas at all. It does look pretty cold though. Hopefully we'll get snow at some point. Anyway guys, welcome back to yet another review. And to day six of 25 days of suggestions, where today we're going to be taking a look at Green Ramon, as suggested by Combustor11. Thank you so much for your suggestion as always. And this car was randomly picked just in time because they recently... Uh, have re-released Green Ramon for the 2021 Cars Mainline, and he's been updated just like Purple Ramon and Old School Ramon before him. Green Ramon here is actually a car that I don't think I've reviewed before, uh, at least not in his own video. I might have reviewed him in one of my St. Patrick's Day specials where I reviewed a bunch of green cars, but I'm excited to be taking a look at this classic Ramon variant, one of the first die-cast variants ever made way back in 2006. But before we do that... We, of course, have to open up a day in the Mini Racers Advent Calendar. That day, of course, being day six. Hoping to get another car. The box doesn't really look like another car would be behind it. But, I mean, there are still four cars left to get. So, fingers crossed we get one soon. Um, I don't know. The size of this box looks pretty similar to uh, the box that the tool cart was in. Where's the tool cart? The tool cart was day three. It looks pretty similar uh, in size and shape to that, but you know what? Enough speculation. Let's see what or who is behind this door. Oh, oh no way! Oh, that's so cool. It's funny, they put the two cars that I wanted the most in the advent calendar as the first two cars you get. This is the snowy holiday version of H.J. Hollis, a character that I don't have the regular mini racer for because he was first released in a 15 pack where I had everybody in the pack aside from him and the other exclusive car which was the non-metallic Sterling. Look at him, he's very cool. I think he's been released as a single in the mini boxes since then, but again, as I've said hundreds of times at this point, my stores don't get the mini boxes. So it's great to have at least a variant of HJ, even if it isn't his normal variant. It's this very cool, exclusive, snowy variant. I'm so excited to have him. And I really like that they chose to give a random car uh, a snow variant, especially one that I didn't already have. Maybe I would have preferred a snowy Cal Weathers, um, but it's really nice to have HJ. Look at that. That is very cool. And I'll be taking a closer look at everything in this advent calendar once every day has been opened. But we're going to move these guys over to the side here and start today's review of Green Ramon right after we opened up a green mini racer. So, Green Ramon here, as I already said, one of the first variant diecasts released way back in 2006. He's got a very cool design. It's more than just a Ramon that's green. He's got some interesting, intricate details on his hood. Very unique. I don't even know what to describe them as, honestly. He's got that same Ramon expression that a bunch of the original Ramones had. They really didn't change up the expressions for the diecasts back in the day. They would always just keep the same face on them. I'm glad that that's something that's pretty much changed um, throughout the years over time. Moving on to the side here, we have more of this sort of striped line design. I really don't know uh, what to describe it as, but it is very cool. I really like just how dark the green of this Ramon is. This is the only dark green Ramon we have, and I think it looks really good. Um, he is missing the low and slow writing on his wheels. I'm not sure if that's one of the things they're updating with the 2021 re-release. I know he'll have a different expression like the 2018 Purple Ramon and 2020 Old School Ramon. Uh, it's cool that they're going through and updating the Ramones. It gives me more Ramones to get, and Ramones one of my favorite characters to get variants of. But, yeah, no low and slow written on the wheels compared to what they do now. This is a Pixar Fest Ramon, one of the most recent Ramones released at the time of making this video. You can see low and slow written there on the wheels. I'm not sure when they started doing that, but you know, that is missing from this Ramon. He doesn't have any back detailing. Usually Ramones have a bit of a design going on on the back, but not this guy. He does have the low and slow license plate, of course, with a pretty cool border around it. Now another thing that's missing from this Ramon that's on more modern Ramones is the Radiator Springs sign in his back window. A really nice touch and honestly something I'm genuinely shocked they put the time and effort into uh, putting into the back of all of the Ramon molds. That's really cool that that's back there. You could barely see it, but really is a nice, unique uh, touch. And you know what? One of these days I'll buy a Ramon, smash the back window open, and see what that sign really looks like. But today isn't that day. 
Maybe, though. Maybe I'll buy more than one of the 2021 updated Green Ramon. I'll break the back windows of the other one and see what that looks like. Moving on to the other side here, just have the same detailing as this side. And there is the base. See the Chevrolet copyright down there, because of course that is what Ramon is. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another day of 25 days of suggestions. Bye now. Thank you.